Welcome back to the tech table. As you can tell from my blue shirt and this bluefish box in front of me, we must be continuing our hardware discussion on Premiere Pro hardware setup and our third party partners. Today we'll be featuring products from Bluefish. You guys may already be familiar with products like their Epic cards, the Horizon Ultra and Core, this Create Ultra 3D card. Lots of great products coming from Bluefish 444 and we wanted to have Bluefish come in and walk you through some of the setup. Driver down download, install tips and techniques, and a general walkthrough with their interface. They have great integration with Premiere Pro, After Effects, and Photoshop, so let's go ahead and take a look. Thanks Dave. Today I'm going to run through a few of the configuration options when working with Bluefish 444 Video I.O. within Adobe Premiere Pro CS6. Once you've installed all of the relevant applications for your workstation including Adobe CS6, visit the Bluefish website at www.bluefish444.com and download the latest installer package. With the Bluefish 444 hardware physically installed in your workstation, run the Windows installer package. This will install device drivers, update the firmware and install the relevant plugins like the Bluefish 444 Adobe Mercury Transmit plugin. Once installed, you must shut down the workstation so that firmware updates can take effect power up your workstation and run the Bluefish 444 feature app. The Bluefish 444 feature app gives you important information like card type, firmware revision, input and output signal types and much more. We can see here that the card is installed correctly. Let's jump into Adobe Premiere Pro CS6. We'll create a new sequence using the Bluefish 444 uncompressed presets. When using the Bluefish 444 preset sequences, you are able to access the Bluefish 444 uncompressed 10-bit YUV codec, also known as V210. We'll go over to the Tracks tab. Set the Audio Master to Multi-Channel, allowing you to output up to 16 channels of SDI embedded audio. I'm going to go ahead and open an existing project. The first time that you run Adobe Premiere Pro, you will need to set up Bluefish 444 as your video playback device and for device control. Access this through Edit, Preferences, Device Control. Select the Bluefish Device Control, then Options and choose the Bluefish Port. This will allow you to control RS-422 devices like a VTR or a DDR from within Adobe. Now go over to the playback preference. Choose Adobe Player as the default player, Bluefish 444 Transmit as the audio device, and Bluefish 444 Transmit as the video device. Go ahead and choose Setup. Here you will find Bluefish 444 settings. The YEV RGB matrix range can be set to CGR full range or SMPTE range for RGB YEV conversions. Progressive video can be output as full progressive frames or as progressive segmented frames affecting the SDI and HDMI outputs. 4K playback mode can be enabled by selecting Auto Quadrant. QFHD video can now be output directly through the Bluefish 444 Epoch 4K Supernova card. The Bluefish 444 SDI scaling options allow the configuration of the powerful Bluefish 444 hardware scaling technology. Auto frame size will dynamically scale the smaller resolutions provided by Adobe when playback settings are reduced to a half or a quarter resolution. It also enables hardware acceleration of thin raster formats like HDV or XDCAM 1440x1080. The other options for scalers are up, down and cross conversions including a 3.2 pull-down. Set this by choosing the source resolution and the desired output resolution and frame rate. You can also set SD video processing by selecting the anamorphic checkbox. The final setting is the pixel format. This determines the format of frames that will be transferred across to the Bluefish 444 video hardware. This setting will determine the color space conversions 
and have an impact on system performance. In most cases, we recommend that this setting matches your source material pixel format as closely as possible. For example, when working with 10-bit uncompressed YUV material, such as with Bluefish 444 V210 codec, select the V210 pixel format. If at all unsure, then you can select Auto. A Bluefish 444 Adobe Quick Start Guide can be found at your Start menu, Bluefish 444, Manuals. To learn more about the Bluefish 444 12-bit HDSDI video solutions, visit our website at www.bluefish444.com.